Did police do a good job investigating the murder of Lexington Marine Jonathan Price? That's what the defense team is questioning as prosecutors go over the little details that led detectives to the defendants. Carolina Buchak is live at the courthouse with the LEX 18 Big Story at 5. Last week, emotions ran high in the courtroom as Jonathan Price's widow told the jury about the night the Marine died. Today, court took a different turn towards the little details, and those details, that is what the defense is going after because they are trying to prove, they say, that police just didn't do a good job and they rushed to an assumption, eventually leading them to the wrong men. Now, on the other side, prosecutors are saying the exact opposite. They're saying good police work led detectives to control Pinio Canada and Dewan Malazam. Police say the men killed Jonathan Price with a gun they stole during a robbery at the Quality Inn just a few days before the murder. But that robbery, that is something the defense is poking holes into. They say police never swabbed anything for DNA or fingerprints, but prosecutors fought that claim. And today the jury also heard from the defendant's family, Dewan Malazam's sister. She was the one who ID'd her brother in security video from the liquor store right next to the murder scene. And do you remember who you said was in that video? Um, they took, showed me a video and I told him it was my, um, that was my brother just buying a cigar and then he pulled off. Okay. And so did they play that video for you? Mm -hmm. And it was him in a liquor store? <clears throat> he bought a cigar and pulled off. Okay. And you saw, are you talking about DeWine Malazan? That's who you saw in that video? My little brother. Now that security footage that is playing a very big role in this case because if that is in fact the defendants on tape that would place them at the scene of the murder. So this is playing a very big role and prosecutors are harping on that car that is visible in that video coming up at six here from the owner of that car covering the news live in Lexington from the LEXAT mobile newsroom back to you.